Hi, this is Gary Boss here with Audio Technica talking to Pro Audio Land about some microphone information. And right now we're going to talk about polar patterns. And really, a polar pattern at its very core is how well a microphone will pick up sound coming at it from different directions, from the front, from the side, from the back. And remember, this is 360 degrees, so where it's not just the front and the back, it's the top and the bottom and just everything and whatever it is. So essentially, microphones come in two basic polar pattern flavors. We have omnidirectional and unidirectional. So all patterns can pretty much be grouped into those. Omnidirectional is... Uh, is as it sounds omni meaning all around so that's a microphone that will respond to sound equally all around the microphone so in front and the side and the top and the bottom so if this was an omnidirectional microphone I could rotate it like this and rotate it like this as long as I was in the still the center and my voice would not change that's an omnidirectional microphone um, typical applications for omnidirectional microphones are going to be like room microphones maybe you want to pick up the ambience of the room and get all the reflections there are some popular stereo recording techniques that use omni microphones and then in a lot of times in video applications you'll use omnis as lavalier microphones and whatnot omni microphones in like a lavalier situation typically will uh, pick up less wind noise they're less susceptible to clothing noise things of that nature uh, so that's an omnidirectional. Then unidirectional. Well, unidirectional kind of has a bunch of stuff under it. So unidirectional just means it picks up from one direction better than other directions, period. So when we get into unidirectional, the most popular is going to be cardioid, and that's what the typical vocal microphones you see like here. And a lot of times that will be described as that little guy, which looks like a little heart. Some people call it a butt, but we like to refer to it as an upside down heart. Cardio coming from the heart, heart shaped. And all that means is on this microphone as a cardioid, directly in front of it, this is what we call on axis on the microphone, you're gonna get the best uh, loudest signal. And as I rotate this microphone, my voice is gonna drop off. It's gonna attenuate. And by the time I get all the way back, right in 180 degrees, off axis is that's where what they call the null point or the quietest point of the microphone on axis loudest in the back the null point and that's a cardioid and that's why it's real popular a lot of stage use because you use this as a vocal microphone here's the null point where do I want to put my monitor I want to put it right behind my microphone that's where we're sending the audio back into the microphone at the quietest point this is the loudest point another popular polar pattern for uh, live sound is what they call hypercardioid. Now hypercardioid is going to have a smaller acceptance angle, okay? So we can squish this here, but the physics of it mean that there's going to be a little lobe. It's going to pick up a little bit from the back of the microphone, and the null point is going to be at about 110 degrees, okay? So we have a hypercardioid mic. We go into a club. We plug it in. The sound guy puts his monitors right behind us bad idea. We need to know what kind of microphone we have so we can put our microphones 110 degrees off axis off the back of the or off the front of the mic, right? 110 degrees. So we should shoot them about right there and that's going to put the monitor right in the null point of this microphone. So there's two unidirectional options. You got a cardioid, you got a hypercardioid. Well, sometimes maybe you want more pattern, but you still need rejection, maybe for a choir or whatnot. And there's a pattern called a subcardioid. And that actually has a wider pickup pattern in the front. Okay. Um, what are some other ones? Maybe you want to do a bi-directional microphone. Now, this is kind of a unique one, and a lot of ribbon microphones are bi-directional. A uh, bi-directional microphone, in its essence, essentially will pick up from the front, it will pick up from the back and then right at 90 degrees all around this microphone is where the null point is. Um, that's kind of a unique pattern. Some good applications for that, a lot of times people will use crossed figure eights for stereo applications. Uh, the MS uh, recording, stereo recording technique uses a bi-directional microphone. So there's a lot of different uses for these patterns, but really knowing about the pattern and how they act and where they sound the best uh, will really help you out of a lot of situations. And we're going to fly in a little image. It'll give you what the acceptance angles are on all those patterns. Hey, thanks for watching.